Man, this mic doesn't even work. Howdy. My name is Yujiro Ochi. I am a fighting Texas Aggie here at Texas A&M in College Station. Today, we are on University Drive, and I believe after living here for an entire year, I have the right to give my honest opinion on every building that I would willing to talk about. Because, yes, there are a lot of buildings, but if you want me to talk about them so bad, make your own goddamn video. Well, today we'll be exploring multiple build buildings, giving my honest opinion, and hopefully interviewing some few people along the way. Come on, and join me. Oh my god, these trucks are so Our first stop today is the Zachary Building. Engineering students from all over Texas are here, studying whatever they want to. Well, we have such a beautiful modern building with natural lighting, it is great. But if you want to study here and access a study room, get ready to fight 30 greasy men and women because they haven't showered in weeks because of how hard the final exam is. Today we are joined by three brand new students. Uh, we have, oh my god, I already forgot, no, Ian, Ane, and Emma. Megan. Megan, oh my god. All right, well, they are brand new students coming from Tex Dallas. All Texas. Austin. Austin. All right, cool. So, what are your first impressions of joining the engineering program? Well, uh, I love it, uh, although I'm not an engineer. I'm very okay, familiar. then he doesn't have any right to speak. What about you? I think it's great meeting new people, taking classes, mm -hmm. it's fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's great, the advisors, everyone's helpful. Isn't that wonderful to hear? The advisors are all liars. What about you, Megan? Oh my god, all right, so I managed to pull three non-engineers at the Zach building. Um, thank you guys so much. We have another incoming freshman here by the name of Matthew. Matthew, what are you looking forward to as an engineering student here at Texas A&M? Uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully some good like job opportunities and also just meeting lots of people to get to just do things around campus. Wow, he is such a freshman. Yeah. Keep up that hopeful intuition, because I'm telling you now, your dreams don't matter. <laughs> Our next stop here is the Evans Library, which the wonderful library committee allowed me to film it, because I do not want to be recording this video in 98 degree weather outside. Right in front of me is the wonderful Starbucks with an endless line, and to my right is an elevator that seems to forget that it's an elevator. Huh? The third floor is a great place. It's called the quiet floor where you could go re study in silence. But who wants to do that? Because when you're in silent, you're all alone. And then the voices get a little louder sometimes. Fourth floor is my recommended study place with a lot of space, wonderful group tables, and then which connects to the annex by a wonderful skywalk where you look down at people during class transitions and you think, wow, I am so much better than them. Side note, the annex is open 24 hours, so when it is 3 in the morning and you're 600 milligrams of caffeine in, just remember that that will help you pass the test. I am here at the Commons building, where this is a majority of where the, all the freshmen live. Uh, to my left is the Dunn Hall. If you're in there, good luck. No space, and get make sure you're real nice and friendly with your roommate. Otherwise, you're going to hate it for the entire year. Right behind me is the dining hall. And people say that, oh, Subisa is better. They're all the same, okay? The dining hall is just food and it's convenient. But make sure you don't go when they're taking breaks. Otherwise, you're just gonna be starving for the next three hours. Little known secret, the food quality is always better at the beginning of the semester. But as it goes by, it gets worse and you expect that. So stop complaining. Okay, would you care to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Kishi. I'm a junior biomedical sciences major. Awesome. Okay. Have you lived in the commons before? I have not personally, but I have worked here for two years. Okay. What is your biggest issue with this building? Mm, the constant construction. That like, is true. There's too much construction, which is annoying as hell. What else? Honestly, that's about it. Honestly. Like not even not even any of the dorms, right? Have you been to any of the dorms? Yeah, I have. They're pretty they're pretty big. Okay, you heard it here first, folks. 
are joined by three freshmen, Casper, Jordan, and Jose, to hear their honest thoughts on the common hall. So, first impressions, what do you think? Uh, I'm standing out here in front of Heldenfell, one of the oldest buildings here at Texas A&M. And you can tell, lecture rooms are small, seats are so close together that it's disgusting, ceiling tiles are falling out of the ceiling, and then like, there's always a creaking fan in some room you could hear it and it's annoying and oh you better wish to some whatever you believe in that nobody has the flu during the flu season because if one person has it everyone has it like it is terrible everyone's seizing everyone's coughing no one covers them up and sometimes even tests are in this building and you could easily cheat and people do they need to fix this building this building is terrible terrible Southside, Com oh yeah, Commons is down this road Let's right keep here. Going. Yep, perfect. Thank you. Our next stop is right in front of the Corp of Cadets. Here it is five in the morning, and you hear a lot of grunting, and you start thinking, hmm, maybe my roommate is watching his favorite gay porn on the speaker, and then you start to realize, no, it's just a bunch of men and women working out at five in the morning. Yes, good for them, but goddamn it, I'm trying to have my sleep in. I have an 8 a.m. Okay. You could immediately recognize court members by usually their uniform, but also their shaved heads. And no disrespect to them, but no offense. A lot of you guys don't look good with bald heads. Oh my God, I'm gonna get attacked. Many court members have what I like to call TMFS. Too much spirit. I swear to God, like why? I, I, I get it, yay a and M, gig them. But sometimes you don't need to be such a hard ass all the time, okay? Let everyone live their life. College is just a phase of life, all right? God, but like, good spirit, good on you. Ouch, this is so, oh shit, are we recording? I am out here in front of Kyle Field, where the greatest American experience goes down, football! Here usually at the new student conference tour, they do the class cheers and you go, uh, hey, or whatever it is. Do I know my class cheer? No. Do I kind of want to know it? Yeah. By the way, while this video is being recorded, there's a bunch of new student conference tours going on, but this is the real video. This is the truth. Our next stop here is the Student Memorial Center, better known as, wait, no. Our next stop here is the Memorial Student Center, better known as the MSC. Here, it is generally a great place to hang out, relax, uh, grab some food, or just even sleep. All the above. It's great. There's even an assortment of foods such as Panda Express and Chick-fil-A, and even the Barnes and Nobles where you could go down and rent out a textbook you need for the class. But here is the truth. The lines are terrible. You never come here during lunch or dinner. Otherwise, you will be crowded and, and staying in line for like two hours just to spend like $10 on a tiny sandwich from Chick-fil-A that like you're just like, oh, I guess I'm full. But then you realize an hour later, they're craving for more. And like, God. A huge rule about the MSC is that you have to take off your hat. Otherwise, some sophomore poor butthole is just gonna tackle you and then publicly shame you and then point at you and laugh and have everyone around you feel uncomfortable and then realize that you were the guy that wore a hat inside the MSC. Right in front of me as well is the Rotor Tower where there, um, what I know of is, what, what is in there? Oh, an auditorium, I think it's what it's called, a stage. Thing, to my knowledge, is just where a lot of the club meetings are, and which is great. That's it. I, I got I got no complaints in that building. I mean, maybe maybe too small of an elevator, but not even. Yeah, no, that's just, that's just a generally good building. On to the next one. Our second and last destination is the ILCB. Do I know what it stands for? No. All I know is that this is one of the newer buildings, and you could tell. Like, come on. There's a fucking terrace here. These are there are giant lecture buildings, all circular. It's actually kind of pretty cool. Like that is like whoever was the architecture for that. Like good on you. But fair warning, if you have a class at Zach or anywhere north, and you have to class here in 20 minutes, you are completely fucked. Unless you have a bike or a scooter 
or something electric to get here, you will not make it in 20 minutes. I will guarantee you that. It is a 30 minute walk from Zachary, the engineering building, to this stupid fucking building. But hey, it's pretty cool, I like it. Like, look, glass walls, come on. And last but not least, we are at the rec center, my favorite place, or I would say my favorite place, if the staff member allowed me to record inside, but no, I guess I can't. So I'm out here in the hot 98 degree weather. God damn it. This building is great because of their assortment of things you can do, such as swim, play basketball, rock climbing, and of course, we all love working out, weightlifting. And Texas A&M, as big as it is, it is so easy to find every possible variant of that gym bro. For example, we have that guy who just loves supplements a little too much and is a borderline drug abuser. Or maybe you want to see that really scrawny skinny kid who just very lean and is always standing in front of the mirror and just flexing, even though he just started working out like two weeks ago. Or you just have a dude named Arnold who is just this Asian 20 year old guy who is yoked as hell. And then you find him on Instagram and then learn that he's a professional bodybuilder and you're just so like, I was gonna have some interviews here, especially maybe from staff members, but uh, no one wants to be talked to. So this might be the end of the video. Thanks for watching everyone. This is the real Texas A&M campus tour. Thanks and giggle.